When you use JavaScript's fetch function, you will notice that an error response, like a status code of 500 or 404, doesn't actually throw an error. Instead, we print success to the console. But when we then try to pass the data from the response, it's not there and we see undefined instead, so we have an unexpected state. This is because as long as we get the response back, fetch doesn't consider it an error. No matter the status code, even if it's an error status code, we still have a response. Fetch only throws an error if the request fails. For example, if we have no internet connection or a malformed URL or if we get blocked by calls. Instead, you have to check for error codes yourself and throw your own error. You can do this by checking if response.ok is false, which means that the status code is not in the range of 200 to 300, which means that it's an error code, and then you just throw your own error. Alternatively, you can use a fetch wrapper like Kai, which handles this for you. And have you ever wondered why 